Aloha and good day, my friends and yogis. How are you doing today? I'm here to be a spark of joy for you. We're gonna do a nice little standing practice, something that you can do in less than 10 minutes, and we're gonna have a great time. <laughs> so let's start with our feet about hip width apart. Bend your knees slightly, sink your tailbone, line it up. Hands are out in front, palms facing the earth. You're connecting with the earth. You're getting that energy of feeling like you're grounded and rooted and supported. You're gonna tip your chin down just a little bit so you feel the back of your neck elongate. And number one thing to do is take deeper breaths and smile. Remember that the acronym SMILE means start my internal love engine or energy depending on how you're feeling. Either way, long, smooth breath, smiling energy through the body, getting yourself just connected to all the good things. Let's hang out for one more breath here. Nice big breath, smile and breathe. Good. Now we're going to do something just a tiny bit different. We're going to press our fingers into the middle of our belly, about two inches below your belly button. This is an area known as the Dantian. Um, the Ming Men is an area in the center of the body at the back. And this is like pressing into a release valve for good vitality for you. So if you're feeling sluggish, it gives you energy. If you're feeling a little bit too anxious or revved up, this helps to calm you down. So it's actually like a super powerful acupressure point that's really just a stabilizer. And who doesn't need some of that these days? So let's just press and take two more deep breaths, smiling into this lower Dantian. The translation of that is your elixir field or your gem field. And it said that's where we store all the good energy. Last breath here, good. So if you're having any digestive upset or anything happening, this is a really good spot to press as well. Let's release. We're gonna press our fingers into the center of the chest, into the sternum, and this is a great area for releasing the valve for feel good energy, your love vibration, connecting with nature all around you, connecting with your own natural essence, and also just connecting with humanity, connecting with the animals, with the trees, with everything that's in our natural world on the surface of the earth. Good, and then release, and we're just gonna gently Tarzan pat our chest, go up and down the sternum a few times. This is a really good awakener for your heart. It allows for any stagnant energy in your love vibration to be moved around, just helps release any anxiety, any depression. Good, and then we're gonna gently just take our arms and reach them up, make a soft V <clears throat> facing towards the sky. This is connecting with the universal forces of the cosmos, giving us a sense of lightness, of being airy, and also just feeling like we don't wanna take ourselves too seriously. We imagine ourselves like a balloon that's made of biodegradable turtle and fish and dolphin food. So when that balloon collapses and goes back into the ecosystem, it can be consumed. I know that sounds kind of weird. Anyway, so just gently connecting with the sky. One more breath. If your arms are a little tired, that's okay. But I just want you to take in this cosmic energy and then start to float your hands down the center line of your body. We're gonna sweep the arms up, gathering earth energy, nature energy, and then the cosmic energy, and then gently float it down, bringing down the heavens, this is called. Inhale up, you stand up just slightly taller, bend at the elbows, and then exhale as you float the hands down. Let's do two more. Smooth out the breath. Just feel yourself balancing your own vital life force, your chi, your prana, your hara, your extra energy. Good, and then release it down. Then we're gonna just swing our arms. Remember this one's called opening the door of life, and this is connecting with the low back, 
just having you experience that nice energy of releasing what's stuck in the middle of your body. I love picturing toothpaste coming out of the tube and we're just letting our arms contact the front and the back side of the body. See these beautiful hibiscus flowers? My intention was to film when two flowers were in bloom, but I know this sounds kind of interesting, but I think the flowers right after they've bloomed are just as beautiful. Both of them are making heart shapes, so who doesn't like that? And I just took my dogs out for their midday pee-pee session, and there's a beautiful deer looking at me. My one dog didn't see the deer, but she smelt it. Anyways, the mom right now that lives in our neighborhood has two babies, and she charges you if you've got a dog. <laughs> So I didn't see this one with any babies. I think it was a teenager. Okay, slow it down. Feel this vibration in the middle of your body. Good. And then we're gonna do a simple balancing pose. We're gonna do tree pose today. So right leg is your standing leg. You're gonna expand all of your toes. You can even lift them up and float them down. So right leg is your standing leg. And then we're gonna take the left foot and bring it to the ankle the heels stand up nice and tall do up that imaginary zipper up the front line of the body just feel your body nice and consolidated second option is to bring your foot to the calf you can bring your foot above or below the knee but don't press into that precious knee joint and then we can hang out with the hands here at the heart or even up overhead look at something not moving to help maintain your concentration your balance and it's really good for you to do a balance pose every single day. It's excellent for your brain. And we just feel super connected and grounded to the earth. And our brain is staying young and vital. Good. Let's release the hands. Gently release that foot. Let's just give it a little shake. So shake forwards to the side and back. Now the left foot is going to be the standing foot. So just take a moment to ground through that foot. You can lift the toes and lower them down. And then we're gonna bring the right foot to the heel or ankle. Then you've got two points of contact. Should feel really stable. If it's available, bring your foot up to the calf. If you're noticing it's hard to hold, that's okay. Just bring your foot back down to the ground or just challenge yourself to come back to this position. Hold something or maybe just put your hand on the wall or hold a piece of furniture and know that your brain is doing all kinds of big concentration or calculations here just to hold you in this space. Last option is to bring the hands to the heart, Anjali Mudra. You can also float your arms up overhead. And even noticing if you take a day or two off of yoga qigong that, you know, the balance sometimes starts to waver just slightly. So this is super good for you. Picture which tree you would be today. Imagine the vitality of a beautiful birch or oak or elm or mahogany or whatever tree you would be. Is mahogany a tree or a type of wood from a tree? I always love koa trees. My first dog, her name was koa, cacao. <laughs> All right, let's release the hands, let's release the foot, shake that right foot forwards to the side and back. And then we're just gonna finish off with hands interlaced over that dantian again. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. This one's called bamboo in the wind. And do your best to just sway and rock without thinking about it. Maybe you close your eyes. And I want you to just remember the motto, be kind. Especially, most importantly, to yourself. How you treat yourself is how you treat others. And then sometimes noticing if you're treating others better than you treat yourself, then what needs to come into balance there? So bamboo in the wind, just finding that ease, that grace, that style that works for you. Smiling and breathing is your recipe for success no matter what you're doing in life. And if you can deepen the breath and just slow down your thinking, as Tara Brock says, stop talking to yourself. And every time you notice this like anxious chatter, just stop talking to yourself and let go, let go, let go. Good, circle your hands over your belly clockwise for you. 
just honoring the direction of digestion. Nice deep breath. And we're going to let the hands go with a sigh. And today is a good day to have a good day. Namaste, friends and yogis. I'll see you next time.